Hi students, how are you all? I hope you are fine and safe at your home. I am Bhupati from the Department of Commerce in Bharatdasana Metric I Secondary School, Arakonam. Now I am going to teach 11th Standard Accountancy Chapter Number 1 Introduction to Accounting. Basic Accounting Terminology is okay. What are the basic words we are used in the accountancy? We will see one by one. First is the transaction. What is transaction? Transaction is an activity exchange of money from one person to another person. It is called transaction. Next one is the cash transaction. What is cash transaction? When cash are transferred from one person to another person by, uh, by trading activities uh, like this. Trading of goods and services from one person to another person, it is called cash transaction. Otherwise, when the goods are sold to another person and cash immediately received from the buyer, it is called cash transaction. Next one is the credit transaction. Credit transactions means a transaction occurred at present. For example, one person bought a goods from company and then later on period he will pay the amount for the purchase of goods. It is called credit transaction. That means the transaction happened at that time, but the cash for the transaction will be paid by the buyer in later on period. Next one is the accounts. Nanda, what is mean by accounts? You are right. Accountancy is nothing but the reports. Accounts means report. Uh, the report which describe the financial status of the company or financial position about the business organization that is called accounts. Next one is the capital. Vignesh, what is mean by capital? You are right. Capital is the amount which is needed to form a company. So, how much of money is required to form a pair? business organization is called capital. The Capital is a very big amount for starting a company. It may be a small amount in case if you are starting a sole proprietorship or partnership firm. It is based on the business you have to start up. So, capital is the very large money which will be given by a persons. They are nothing but the proprietor or owner or shareholders. So, the person who give money to, to the business organization is called owner otherwise proprietor otherwise called shareholder So, person one who gives the money to the company as a capital he is called owner or proprietor or shareholder based on the type of business they undertake. So, capital is the money which is needed to start of a company. The person one who gives the money to the business organization he is called owner or proprietor or shareholder. Next one is the drawings. Nanda, what is mean by drawings? Correct. The owner of the business organization take part of the goods from the organization for his personal use is called drawings. So, drawing means the owner take some of goods of goods of the business organization for his own use. It is called drawings. Next one is voucher. What is voucher? Voucher is a written or printed document to support the transaction happening in the business. So, it is a transaction uh, document which is support to the transaction happening in the business organization. It will be in the form of printer, either printer or written document. For example, cash received. Next one is the invoice. What is invoice? Invoice is a statement prepared by the seller. Uh, in invoice, what all the items will be included in the invoice? What types of goods are sold to the buyer? On which date the sale made to the buyer? And how many quantities are 
sold to the buyer and how much value of the goods are transferred from seller to buyer so these all the information will be disclosed in the invoice next goods what is mean by goods goods are things or anything which is used in the business organization things or uh, goods or anything product which is used in the business organization is called goods next one is the purchase okay mansur now tell me what is mean by purchase correct buying of goods and uh, goods and uh, raw material from the buyer is called purchase okay for what purpose we are purchasing the raw material from the producer i will tell you to produce a finished goods a final used goods to the consumer we are purchasing raw material from the producer or from agriculture persons or the suppliers the company purchases raw material from the suppliers and then convert the raw material into finished goods and supply the customer by satisfying the consumer the company earn the profit so see the next one purchase return or return outwards okay purchase return means when the company purchased raw material from the another person or another company it will not be satisfied in some of way it will be return to the supplier those who supply the goods okay tamil seller now tell me for what purpose we return the goods to the supplier correct when the goods are damaged the company didn't accept because the company pay amount for the purchase of goods and services then why should we accept damaged goods for our consumption so that the company return the goods to the supplier for what purpose means if the goods are damaged or mismatched or unnecessary goods are supplied to the company the company will return the goods to the supplier next sales sales is nothing but the company purchase raw material from the persons and then convert the raw materials into finished goods finally the cons, uh, company sell the goods to the consumers the consumer buy the products from the company and pay the cash to the company so sales is nothing but sold the goods to buyer and receive cash from buyer this is the sales and then nanda what is the major income of the company in business organization correct sales is the major income for each and every company because the major income is gained through the sale of the products and the services by the company see the second one sales return or return inwards okay the company sold the goods to the consumer sometimes the consumer return the goods to the company dinesh kumar now tell me why the consumers are return the goods to the company correct when the goods are damaged or broken or mismatched products are sent to the consumer by the company that time the consumer didn't accept the unnecessary goods mismatched goods damaged goods broken goods that is why they return the goods to the company next one is the stock stock is nothing but the goods in the hands of the company the stock may be in the form of opening stock or closing stock what is the difference between closing stock and opening stock sir closing stock is nothing but the at the end of the financial year what is the end of the financial year correct 31st march of every year so 31st march of the every year is called end of the financial year so at the end of the financial year how much of goods are in the hands of the company is called closing stock then what is the opening stock sir the closing stock of the one year is the opening stock of the next year nanda what is the opening date of the accounting year correct first april so first april of every year we are <coughs> we called opening of the year so 
closing stock of the last year is called opening stock of the current year. This is a difference between closing stock and opening stock. And see the next one, income. What is income? Income is nothing but the company produce the goods and sold the goods to the consumer and earning the money from the consumer. This is what income. Income means the company received income, received money by financial activities or trading activities or administration and selling activities of the company. This is called income. Next one is the expenses. What is expenses? Sir? The company spends some of money to run the company for each and every transaction, each and every steps the company spend income, uh, the company spend money to carry out the business activities in the all the stages of company. This is called expenses. Next, solvency. What is solvency, sir? Solvency is nothing but the capability of a person to repay the debts which is borrowed from a person. This is called solvency. If a person is solvency, he can borrow any, uh, any much of amount. How much of amount? Large amount can be borrowed from other persons and then he can borrow, uh, repay the amount at the right time at the right person. This is called solvency. Next one is the insolvency. Insolvency means a person borrowed money from other persons after particular time he can't repay the amount to the borrowed person that means supplier or creditor that is called insolvency insolvent means he can't solve the problem money problem this is called insolvency see the next one asset what is mean by asset sir in business organization whatever can be converted into cash with the short period it is called asset see the asset for example of asset cash cash in hand cash at bank closing stock and then debtors who is a debtor debtor is a person one who received the goods from the company on the basis of credit later on that he will pay the amount to the purchase of goods and services and then machinery machinery is the product which is used for production of goods and services in the company and then prepaid expenses some of the expenses are paid by the company in advance for example insurance so these are the example of assets okay see the next one is a liability what is liability sir liability is nothing but obligation of the business organization which repay the amount to the buyers who's that first one is the capital amount the shareholders proprietors who are not someone the company have liability have obligation have duty to repay the amount to the owners at that at that they want at the right time so that example for that proprietors fund capital and creditors fund and outstanding expenses uh, salary outstanding is a example for the liabilities see the next one debtor who is a debtor sir a debtor is a person one who receive goods and services and cash from the company on the basis of credit he is called debtor then creditor who is a creditor sir creditor is a person one who give the money or supply the goods and services to the company on the basis of credit after some uh, certain period he can get the money for the goods and services which is already supplied to the company so this is called creditor then depreciation what is depreciation depreciation is nothing but the gradual decrease the value of the asset is called depreciation for what are the reasons of behind the depreciation sir some of the assets are decreased by usage of assets by using asset we uh, day by day the value of the asset will decrease some of the goods are uh, decrease the value due to the invention of the products if a new product is come to the market the old market uh, the old product will lose the value of the product this is called depreciation see the next one bad debts what is bad debts when the debts are uncollected from the debtors it is called bad debts that means the debt which cannot be 
which cannot be collected from the debt of this is called bad debts do you know what are the bad debts in the uh, companies a debt which is cannot be recovered from the debt of it is called bad debts in recently our central government also 1600 and crores uh, the amount given to the uh, businessman as a loans is uh, written off as a bad debts next one is the branches of accounting what are the branches in accountancy first one is the financial accounting the financial accounting reveals about the financial transaction in the business organization second one is the cost accounting uh, nanda for what purpose we are preparing cost accounting correct to ascertain the cost of the each and every product produced in the company and how to control the cost of the each product is the purpose of preparing cost accounting see the next one management accounting management accounting is nothing but to manage the financial condition in the organization it is called management accounting for what purpose we are preparing management accounting sir to take a correct decision accurate decision and uh, favorable decision making in the organization we use the management information the management has take the decision making in the organization is called management accounting next one is the social responsibility accounting in each and every business organization have social responsibility to do the some of the good uh, and help to the society to uplift the life of the people who are living in the country next one is the human resource accounting how much of money invested in the human resources in the company and how much of <coughs> how much of money losses due to the exiting that means retirement of peoples who are in the organization called human resource accounting next one is basis of accounting first one is the cash basis second one is the accrual or mercantile basis third one is the mixed or hybrid basis we will see one by one first one is the cash basis the accounting transaction which are mentioned in the cash that means actual cash received and actual cash payments are only recorded in the books of accounting that is called cash basis next one is the accrual or mercantile basis where the the expenses or income paid or not but has been earned or accrued in the business organization which will be recorded in accrual basis where the expenses paid or accrued the income or received or accrued that should be recorded in the business transaction is called accrual or mercantile basis see the next one hybrid or mixed basis in hybrid or mixed basis both cash basis and accrual basis both two basics are followed in this basis this is called hybrid and mixed basis uses of accounting informations nanda tell me who are the users correct internal user and external users who are the internal users the employee and management these two persons are internal users of the accounting and who are the external users external users are outside the company which may use the financial information of the company first one is the investors second one is the public and third one is who who sir company uh, government this is a these three persons are using the accounting information to know about the company next one is the role of accountant in uh, every organization what is the role performed by accountant first one is the record keeper he should keep the record of each and every transaction happening in the business organization he should record in the books of accounts second one is the provider of information to the management the management has supervised the activities of the business organization whenever they need information the accountant should be given the right information at the right time the management take correct decision to uplift the company to the next level third one is the protector of business assets because the accountant uh, record the each and every portion of the assets and liabilities in the company so he should safeguard the assets which are in the company by the way of safeguarding the shareholders also next one is the financial advisor 
the accountant and accountant know about the financial condition of the company sometimes he will also give advice to the management and the company what should do and what should not do in the business organization that is called financial advice next one is a tax manager as a accountant working as a tax manager he he must know for how much of taxes paid to the sale of the goods and services by the company or how much of tax should be paid to the government for the turnover of the company so he is also very good person in the tax management last one is the public relation officer uh, whenever the information needed about the company the accountant will reveal the information to the both internal user and external user respectively so this is the basic accounting terminology used in the accountancy okay students for your further reference i attached study material powerpoint presentation question bank and self evaluation test question paper in the description use it dear parents help your children to do their work thank you